Patrick, describe a good working relationship between the assessor's office, the county board of supervisors, the county administrative officer, and other critical county management staff. Kumbaya. <laughs> um, um, yeah, it would be, um, uh, I, I think each are doing their work and doing what they say they'll do and doing it when it's required to be done. Um, for instance, if, if I don't have the assessment role ready to go uh, by the, the designated deadline with, with the state, yes, I can get an extension, but then the tax collector is going to have, have, have it held up in the process too if I'm, do, if I'm behind in my process. So a lot of it is really, um, is, is really hopefully having those kind of working relationships with each department where they're doing what they said they would do and you're doing I'm doing what I said I would do when I said I would do it. And I think that solves a lot of issues that might otherwise occur. Um, and, and really just getting to know the people involved more I mean, at, at, at the appropriate time would be to really get to understand people to the, to the level that you actually care about, care about your colleagues or, or those other supervisors, you know, the supervisors that are on the board or, the, or your other administrative uh, colleagues within the county would be to really uh, know them more on a personal level to a degree where you care about them. I mean, versus just the work that's being done or the work that's in front of you. You really have a care for someone, uh, you know, at a heart level. And, and that requires a little bit more outside of the box, maybe outside of the office even, uh, in a sense. But, uh, but I, I think it's important to develop relationships and to further relationships um, in, in that way and, and hopefully Hopefully, I can do that. Uh, that. That is what I'm good at, but it's 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 something that I would like to be able to do and, and work with each person to get to understand what their problems are and how I can be of help and how can I be a servant uh, in, in in that way, both in my role, but also in the interface between the other organizations or the other parts of the organization. If you will. So. Why do you want to move from your current job? To this position in county. Well, well I, I currently am not engaged. I uh, finished my last engagement, which was uh, at Hartwood Institute, um, effectively wrapped it up at the end of uh, January with some additional stuff I did until the end of February, first part of March. Um, and so I'm, I'm, currently, I'm currently looking actively for a full-time opportunity. Uh, my wife and I love this area. Uh, we, uh, we, we both spent the majority of our life in California. Uh, I, I was in Northern California for many, many years before going back to school. And so now that we've moved back to California, we're, we're interested in staying here. So uh, we, we've actually looked at some nice properties here in town. We've got a place right down from the courthouse too that we can move into. So um, so we're, we're excited about the opportunity to be here. And, uh, and we were pleasantly surprised spending a couple of days up here just recently um, uh, at how nice people are in, in town, and, and uh, the, the town's really sweet. It was more, it was better than I expected, put it that way. Uh, Weaverville itself, and we went up to Trinity Center, we went over to, um, I think of the name of the town, another town about 10 miles away. But um, uh, yeah, we've, we've, we've driven around a little bit in the area and looked at, uh, we looked at some properties up on, we thought, well, we might want to be up on the lake or, you know, up in that area, and so we, we did look at some properties that uh, Nancy Dean turned us on to up there. But, but we have a, I think we have a place right down here that we'd really like to be at. Um, that's a guy, property owned by Steve Singer, who's an attorney. Uh, he's given us first dibs on it if we get the job. So, <laughs> so we're, we're excited about that. Was that the question, or did I get off track there? Well, I think you've, you've certainly communicated your reason for wanting to be here. Okay. <laughs> and um, so the last uh, final rated question, what are your specific goals um, as you undertake this position and what do you expect to accomplish during the first six months? Well, well I, during the first six months, and, and, and my specific goal would be to go right back to the survey that was done that was actually started in, in 2012 by the Board of Equalization, uh, and it's the most recent audit that they do of the, of the office. Uh, again, I'm talking on the assessor side. Um, and then being able to use the findings that they came up with, which were 22, 22 areas that they had concern in, um, 
and again, this was extending over a, lot, a couple of assessors and a deputy, I guess, that, that was there. But the um, I don't know how many of those have been addressed appropriately. I'm hoping that a bunch have been. Uh, but being able to use that as a guideline to be able to come back uh, when the assessment comes up again, I think in 1718, I believe it is. Yeah, 1718, the Board of Equalization will be coming back. And they'll actually be back earlier than that to, to do a, a test assessment of the properties that uh, to, to take a look at. Uh, be, because of the findings they had, they were so concerned that they want to. They do want to go that go to that next level. And I don't know if they've actually done that since the September report. But uh, but it would be important that when they do come, that things are in order and that the other 22 things had been addressed or, or were being worked on in a way that. Um, would take care. Excuse me. Would take care of those uh, deficits that, that currently exist in the office. So, um, so, so I think that would be what I'd like to have accomplished. Now, whether they can be done in that in that six month period uh, would determine on how deep, I guess, how deep rooted or how you know what what's going to be involved in making making those things happen. A lot of them are, are rel relatively procedural. That, that if you just follow the manual and, and assess the property in the correct way, or I think they had a, uh, they had a concern about uh, different types of asset classes, um, open space land, possessory interests, things of that nature. So if you, I, I think if you just went through and made sure that the procedures that were being followed uh, on these assessments uh, were done per, per California regulations, I, I think you would, uh, I think you'd be in good shape. In other words, I think those would be taken care of. So in my opinion, it would be important, and I'm not sure when they're planning to come back, but it would be important to, to have as many of those things handled and up to, up to snuff, if you will, so that next time around we get a clean, a clean audit, if you will, in that sense. Um, uh, and again, you're always going to have some things I'm sure that they're going to recommend, uh, which, which are great, and some, some hopefully are easy, but uh, easy to deal with. But I was concerned about the severity of, of that audit uh, from the last findings that they had. <coughs> And it did show that there were some underlying issues that, that need to be addressed. And again, I would hope that as many of those as possible could be addressed once uh, once I was able to get in there and observe and see what was going on and what could be done differently or what could be done per the law or per the suggestions that the, uh, the auditor had when they came in um, and gave the report uh, to the county in, the, in September 14th. So, so, so I think that that would be the best guidebook to go by, and and to do things right by uh, by having it uh, uh, having it come up with a clean bill of health at that point. So. Anything else? Do you have any questions, uh, Wendy, or? When do I start? <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm curious. I, I am curious about the procedure of, of far as um, your process. Uh, you know, when does the board make their decision, and and what's the next step from from that standpoint? So it is really kind of like a start date. How else? Well, I would say the latest we would have a decision within two weeks. That's on the past set. Uh -huh. So um, the we would you know, negotiate a start date once we have our decision made. I suspect we could have a decision sooner, but I don't want to overpromise that. Sure, sure. And that, I mean, that's my key question. Mm -hmm. this is, yeah. How soon do I sign the lease? And, <laughs> and I gather you can start as soon as possible. Start moving out, yeah. sure. Okay. All right. Okay. Anything yes. else, board members? No? no. Okay. Thank, thank you all for, right. thank you all for <laughs> taking the time. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Take care.